The state government's been accused of splashing millions of dollars to community groups in return for votes. The Premier insists the grants are going where they're needed, but the opposition has asked the Auditor-General to investigate the spending. The Premier out and about in his electorate this morning <coughs> handing out medals at an ocean swim. But it's cash handouts in Labor electorates that could land him in hot water with the government's financial watchdog. It's a modest program, but it does deliver local jobs and it also ensures uh, that, uh, that important uh, community programs were funded. Labor's $39 million local projects local jobs fund gives grants of up to $400,000 to community groups. But figures show the lion's share has been spent in Labor seats. On average, seats Labor won at the last election have received $540,000 from the fund. Seats held by the Liberals got an average of $85,000. And in safe Liberal seats like Kareen, Churchlands, South Perth, Nedlands and Cottesloe, not a single dollar has been spent. I think that's where this just uh, reeks of, of uh, a grand level of pork barrelling by, uh, by the government. While the Premier is shrugging off suggestions of not spending money in Liberal seats, the state opposition has referred the program to the Auditor-General, concerned there's been a bias in the distribution of funds. The addition of Labor MPs' faces on novelty-sized cheques also causing a stir. I just think it, uh, it smells a little bit and just doesn't look professional, doesn't look right. Michael Stamp, Nine News.